Like, cause you will either number one, outgrow your wife. Mm -hmm. And if you're not cognizant of your growth and you don't try and bring your life along with you, mm -hmm. then it's just going to end up like, cause you just won't be in the same vibration. It'll be awful to be with it'd you. Be, be, it, Think it, about it, all those it friends you have. Your life. It affects all of your life. Mm -hmm. Think about all those friends who you just don't even vibe with. Well, you guys used to fucking kick it all the time, <laughs> always together. And then now together, Hey, yeah, what's up, bro? How you doing? Oh yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. But like, there's no substance. Mm -hmm. You two are on two completely different vibrations now. Like, and, and that's I all completely, I completely tell her, like, look, like you can get up in the morning um, and go figure out what the Airbnbs need, what we need to get it here. Like, you just go and I, I'll stay with the kids. I'll just work from here. You know what I mean? And just it looks like when I leave, it's like, damn, like you, you just like being gone. But it's like it's low key to peace. <laughs> it's low key to peace of being alone. And so it's like. I want her to find that piece of being alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I honestly don't think that that you can grow and become a better version of you if you're constantly nurturing or taking exactly. care of someone else. You you have to be in a car just looking at nature. And and, and one thing that process happens, your thoughts. Process your thoughts. That's like why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way? You know, what what took me here? Or, you know, they talk a lot about uh, millennials and and how you know we, we get so caught up in our phones. And sometimes we lack imagination and that comes from just sitting there and letting your mind wander. Well, if you're being a parent, your, your mind's never wandering. Yep. So you're never growing. And so I want her to wander. You know, I want her to think like, why the fuck does he get up and just hop out of bed and go, go get coffee? Like, why is that so important to him? You know well, that's I mean? just important. That to me, like to me, doing it's that, important to me. It's important. But number one, it's hard for some people to understand like why I would get upset when something comes up in the morning, we need to go do something else. And I can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, why is that so important to him? Like, wh what is this piece that he's fucking getting by going to go get this coffee in the morning and writing in this Project 369 book? You know what I mean? So um, that's been my number number one goal or n number one thing on my checklist um, for for the last few weeks, for sure. Journaling helped me out a lot as far as like, who are you? What do you want? What's mm -hmm. going on? Because I, I mean, we still went through like the not knowing who the fuck we are when we quit playing sports. Mm hmm. Like legitimately, like, bro, who am I? Like, mm -hmm. you're a piece of shit. Like, like, yeah. All those other crazy thoughts of, I mean, it's nowhere near to where I think mothers get subjugated to, to where like, oh no, you're just a mom, you're a stay at home mom. Mm -hmm. Even though that is an amazing thing, if you want to be more than that, you can be more than that, mm -hmm. right? So journaling down what you want to accomplish, like same thing. I get it. Does she have a three sixty nine book yet? I bought it for. Her. Yeah. yeah, that'll help out so much for sure. And as I read it, I'm like, oh yeah, she, you need to start right. reading this. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where we are right now.